Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm playing Legendary Iron Man with 90 plus mods that make my life harder, much, much harder to be precise. Double enemy squad size as well as more enemies, yellow alert uh, and just about 60 different new enemies that are, shall I say, not 100% balanced. They were apparently built for much more uh, lower uh, difficulty campaigns and uh, I've already seen a few of them, bio troopers, purge troopers, uh, dark elders and a few others that are quite intense. Today we're going to do Operation Crypt Hound uh, Haven Assault where I am hopefully going to uh, rescue a couple of civilians at least and uh, in order to do that we bring the B or C team, however you want to see it. The freshly rescued Russ is going to lead this uh, charge. Uh, Dilly G is back, uh, so we got him with the increased aim uh, PCS. He should actually perform relatively well. The only problem is um, his weapon is not yet upgraded. Equally so Slicinator's weapon, so these two will still rock ballistic weapons. Um, uh, we got Wrath here, uh, also rocking a ballistic weapon to be precise, but um, the main job of the Wrath is uh, more to scout than anything else. And we got some uh, first uh, magnetic weapons. Implacable and Russ are going to be the ones that are carrying them into combat. And we have, I have not seen any really negative uh, side condition uh, there is no swarm there is no hive nothing so maybe this is just going to be a normal uh, terror mission we're going to see about that very good so we are landing let's go buddies let's go one of those chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area our people are doing what they can look at that uh, we're not stealthy with wrath uh, from the get-go that is different one of the mods must have disabled that I don't like it we immediately needed to use conceal uh, we can take high ground here and there is plenty of high ground there as well yeah but I think we need to fight in that direction Wrath begins to move up. Nothing so far. Moving as ordered. And we're just going to take the high ground. I think in terms of just moving, eh, a window here might be dangerous, so let's just... Start pushing forward without going through the window. Or rather, without creating a line of sight through the window. Okay, so far so good. We are... Unfortunately, for the first time fighting against the Assassin, and we're looking at Watchful, can enter Overwatch upon ending her turn, regains health when enemies take damage, that is not good, specifically not on a mission like this here. Uh, easy to hit from high ground, that's great, and takes increased damage from uh, Reapers, that is even better, because guess what, we do have a Reaper available. can see a pack of advents right there the chosen assassin's energy signature she's moving on the squad's position commander i think the biggest problem for us will be how can we prevent the massive loss of life here just to get a better shot at the civilians take those bastards down will you sacrifice all of them yeah with yellow alert these guys are immediately becoming active Commander, we 
should assume whatever advent is using for fuel is extremely volatile. Avoid Another purifier, be careful here. Unfortunately, our sniper can't really push forward and kill anyone. I know that one of them was standing quite in the open over here. Very good. So that's an option. And does that give our sniper an opening? Yes, it does. But I'm not yet convinced. I think we should rather go for the high ground with our sniper. Good. The red is just trying to scout. I'm not going to involve her in the fighting so far. Uh, I want to make sure that... I really want to make sure that the Chosen is being dealt with the moment that it arrives. We got a med kit, so... The python should be fine. Good, that's one drone less. They have served with honor. Their duty to the elder. Opening to do a full cover and dirigy here. We'll take high ground and hopefully the ability to influence the battlefield a little bit better. I'm not overwatching yet. Let's rather hunker down. And see, that's the problem. They are just going for the civilians. Oh boy. And that's different with yellow alert. Uh, they are effectively all engaged in combat at this point. Ouch. Ouch. Alright, they're trying to set up the pythons, that's good. I wouldn't do that if I'd be you, because now you're pulling that pack. The Perch Heavy Gunner. Okay, and we're continuing to burn. Well, that is bad. We could self-heal us, and what's the chance of hitting this guy? Actually, not too bad. So, how about medication? Very good. Implacable is back in business. Unfortunately, not good. Alright, let's set this guy up. And knock him down. Moving into another full cover position with Russ. He's starting to take the front line. Unfortunately, without great success. We 
could move up, but that'll uh, motivate them for a poison spit. And I really don't want that to happen. We also don't know when the Chosen is going to come. Advanced Conditioning has two hit points. Fantastic and the scope, but is a great loot. Not just good, that is really, really good. I go where you tell me. Good, we're just overwatching. Keep them in check. We're unfortunately losing quite a few civilians here. Ouch. Not good. Nice hit on the stun mount, so I like that. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces. Wow, he fell down due to environmental damage and started burning as again. So that's now the second time that I need to waste a healing charge on him. Okay. No comment. That is the worst way that these things could happen. Give him a heal. But since everything here seems to be doing at least three points of damage, uh, I gotta get him out of one-shot range. Alright, Slicinator in indeed begins to move forward. Can't always play defensive here. And we're beginning to clean this up a bit more. They had an ability called Thick Scales, apparently an armor re uh, a damage reduction. Pretty significant one, if it could compensate that much damage. Let's try to get that Viper. Yet another fail. Wouldn't be surprised about a poison spit. Or just continuing to shoot the resistance forces. I don't think that we're going to make this. Uh, it just looks too convoluted, too many enemies. Just overall. It looks like we're just going to lose too many of our uh, resistance ops. Oh yeah. Well, that hasn't really worked out that well, has it? Typically I'm saving like three or four in the first iteration, but we're still at zero. And they are just pulling pack after pack because you know what? It's not problematic enough. Moving up, in the hopes of finishing this snake beast. Well, I can tell you, 
that was not a good move. You have literally just walked up to a stun lancer. But I also don't want to. I also don't want to lose our cover there. Yeah, big surprise, right? I don't think that we can reasonably solve that. Just too many enemies and all of them are taking shots at the civilians. We're already down to nine. That means we can lose three more. And we have almost no resistance fighters left. That means the Chosen is right next to, to it. Because elsewise we wouldn't have had the option. Oh no, it's not the Chosen, but it is a Heavy Purifier. Okay, cool. Alright, moving over here. Moving into full cover, away from the Sun Lancer. That heavy purifier is a problem. Alright, and there's only really one way of not Of not getting uh, becoming visible and getting this guy down, which is wasting another cooldown because we haven't hit beforehand. Overwatch to counter the stun lancer, and I think that was the last resistance operative. Wonderful. Running out of med kits as well. Yeah, this is not going our way. I cannot really see how we're going to win this. I would want to get a bit closer because I'd like that to take that high ground there. Again, we're, we're relatively slow here. I will need to heal next turn. Because I want to move and kill this guy, of course. Good, the killing worked well. We're charging. I will need to wish 
moving further. Slicinator goes for full cover. And we're reloading with Implacable. Alright, so from now on, no more death or we're going to have a problem. They're somewhat slowing down, maybe to let us catch up, maybe to give us false hope. I don't know, but we're going to reload and this could be shredding or even killing. It's a, ki a killing instead, I like it. Good, so finally the high ground with Dilly G. We're healing with our Gremlin. I just can't push forward. I don't want to lose concealment. So the cover with our Reaper. That would be just a terrible idea. Now I don't think that this here is going to be close enough to take a shot. It's overwatchable, but Likely not going to work. I am trusting you. I see everything. Yeah, unless he's missing, we're losing. Ah. Closer than expected, but still. I mean, they were just trying to slow down. It was kind of the typical mechanism of XCOM to make it a little bit closer than uh, normal, but there was another pack behind the Assassin. At any point, even if I had pushed forward, they could have just they could have just pu uh, pushed on. Remote start would be fantastic. What's over there? Good, we're moving over. Time to fight the Chosen. And maybe get some AP out of this. We have already officially lost the mission. I think the explosion of uh, the canisters will not reach her. No, it did not. All right, I'll go. She's easier to hit from high ground. At least that's what the description says. Mm, but should have been a hit. Unfortunately, it was not. Nice little hit here. Eight protocol, just in case. And let's try to give her a really, really hard time. Is that killable? Four to six. Right. 
We're actually looking at five to seven. And she's at nine. Five. Plus three extra from crit. Uh, we're looking at a 66% chance to kill her. I want to take that option. Mm, minimum damage. No crit. Luckily for us, not revealed either. Comes quite clear that we don't want to mess with them. Blinded. All right. So from a high ground position. Can't really hit her. But we can uh, go for a full cover play. That almost hits her. attack if you are blinded oh you really down to one HP okay I wish we could shoot because we do have a we do have a repeater going for us. I want to kill her and I want to kill her more badly than I want to stay hidden. Of course, now we're critting for 10. But we're not revealed. Fantastic. Look, we chose the Chosen absolutely nothing. The only thing that we showed the Chosen is how we let them kill our civilians. That was an unfortunate turn of events here overall. We're down to almost no civilians here. Good running up. And let's scout for us. Time to kill the stun launcer. Good, so that's one stun launcer less. I'm going. What if you say so? Let's do this. Reloading and let's move up good we got two overwatches they are killing the last civilians which is really 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 shitty 
I was hoping that that wouldn't happen. And now the pack officially triggers. Which means they get yet another turn. Apparently they hadn't been triggered before. Good. Reload. Uh, nice little lightning hands. And another hit. Just to get him down. We have exactly zero civilians left over. One over to flank that stun lancer, but he is well secured. And that will be a 100% kill because we got a stock installed. So even if we would have missed, that would have been a hit. And we can at least get a faceless one so that we can create a mimic beacon with enough corpses. Reload Overwatch. Move over and reloading. Well, the sad reality of this mission was we had really zero survivors. Like, not a single one of them made it. Did G. Let's feed the snipers some kills because they have a hard time leveling up and whenever they are leveled up they are typically monstrously strong and that should be it so sometimes you just gotta take the L guys we did a okay job in not getting killed we did a naps an absolutely poor job in saving the civilians so that means a setback on the strategic layer and we will need to be successful in the next mission to get some more intel. Without that intel we wouldn't be able to uh, maintain our three regions. But yeah, I'm on a more uh, general level concerned about uh, the, uh, the terror missions as uh, the yellow alert mod will make it much much harder for us specifically the haven assault missions are going to be catastrophically difficult to actually pull them off at least we know these chosen can be killed well well implacable got a promotion that's good congratulations buddy you have done well and Russ and Slicey Nator apparently like one another. I have no problem with that. Go ahead and form a bond. We got some extra conditioning right here and we got a scope that is so important at the beginning. Minus 70 supplies. Oh boy. The game is really sucker punching you when you are losing a mission, so we're back to, to uh, 178 supplies. In terms of who should be getting that extra hit points, I think Grell, just to increase her survivability. Yeah, there we go. Lost this right here. Let's try to get that extra soldier. And we got a corporal. Oh, look at that. The game offers us a reduction in contact costs. That would be an equivalent of 40 
uh, of 40 intel. And in the meantime, we got Zirkim. Welcome on board, buddy. Long time no seen. This time as a grenadier. It's a rare sight. I think Zirkim hadn't been a grenadier, and he had been in like many, many, many runs. But I, unfortunately, I can't accept the way that you had uh, that you are presenting yourself here. All right, that's much better. Promote in Shredder, yes please, and that's a good one. I mean, Zirkim, with uh, getting him, is essentially just as senior as Euler, our main Grenadier so far. So, the only thing that he uh, Zirkim doesn't have is uh, Death from Above, which Euler has. But we can very much start working with Zirkim right away. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, da -da -da -da. Yeah, we're not going to give him the uh, the PCS that's reserved. So that was helpful. The game gave us exactly what we needed. Good, if we wanted to make contact here, that'll be 160 intel. Um, this here would be 40 intel. Uh, to make contact over here. Given the sacrifices you are willing to make on the battlefield, it was inevitable that you would eventually find limited... But I think what we're going to do is we're just going to scan for intel. Because then we can also get alloys if needed. If we can't get them uh, from any other uh, from any other source, good, fantastic. Yeah, we're not going to just do random autopsies, guys. So it's potentially um, gauss weapons, and then we're looking into plated armor. The other alternative is experimental weapons, but Gauss weapons are objectively better for our current situation. Good, we're losing supplies, quite a few. Good, Sam Sunab's Walker is uh, finally a grenadier so good for you i like it uh, i like the confidence here carrying that heavy gun with one hand just don't look uh, into the upper end and maybe kill yourself that would not be very clever and in terms of just overall Classes. We got five grenadiers, three rangers, two sharpshooters, and a few specialists. So, might as well. Might as well go for the training center and. Not the training center. What am I doing? Real Tactic School, of course. And give the last rookie the ability to become a sharpshooter. Wilson, we're counting on you. Training center in general. I think we have no one with enough AP. No, no. 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 Not yet. Well, technically, uh, Roby here would have enough AP. Phantom isn't bad if you get it on top. And Guardian isn't bad either, to be entirely honest. For 10 points, potentially worth it. Uh, specifically since he has, uh, with a shotgun, a really, really deep magazine. So, could be good.
that death from above is certainly helpful and we got rapid fire right here that's a fantastic draw for uh for a grenadier so zirkum is making a really nice case for himself there And we had an average month. Not a good one, an average one. Brutal crackdown for more reduction in resources. And we do have some sabotage going. Permanent ambush wouldn't be a problem, but this here would definitely be a problem. I don't like alloy padding. We're still continuing with the two extra turns and I think we need to increase our influence right after the hero's welcome. Very nice, very nice. So we got a skirmisher and two promotions out of it. So mobility and uh, increased influence. We could recruit another skirmisher and get dodge. That would be a nice uh, option. Increase faction and that wouldn't be bad either. Plus mobility. I mean, look, mobility isn't bad. Health isn't bad. Both of uh, these are actually relatively good. Um, Let's first of all start leveling her up. Yield medic, yes please. Does that in return mean we would have... No, she's not a captain yet. One more rank uh, from lieutenant to captain. Did we have a promotion anywhere? Dodge, dodge, dodge health mobility hmm I think we're okay if we could essentially Put Grell on this. I think we should be fine. Roby and uh, Grell. Or Sona and Grell. That is also good. Um, I think that that would be a nice little combination. There is a chance to become, uh, to get ambushed. Let's first of all uh, promote our newcomers. Uh, throwing a grenade no longer ends the turn. No, we're going to go for the reflex shot. Grell also needs to take the personal combat sim. We wanted to do that. Congratulations. And Hayward is potentially becoming a ranger. No, another sniper. Okay, well, not too bad. In that case, back to the resistance ring. I think we're going to go for influence increase, which is needed. That health plus one is helpful. And 
let's just use one of the low level snipers because they are difficult to level up and there might be an ambush here which is okay one med kit is not too much to ask for these guys are fine and in 14 days we would get the increase plus a nice little plus one health that's fine not fantastic but okay we get more uh, we get more resistance orders so i will focus on increasing the the influence now Okay, so far so good. We need more alloys. If you thought the elders were unhappy with you before, just but we only need them in six days, so we still have some more time. That broke free somehow. Commander, that UFO contact has us lost. <sighs> I'm, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say, but... I hated the idea of uh, that. I hated the idea of that early UFO, um, that early UFO mission, and now it just became reality, which is depressing. Uh, I will uh, build a couple more med kits, I suppose, and then we're just uh, trying our best. This might already be the end of uh, the campaign, depending on just what type of enemies they are sending in. Well, this is going to be a quite hard mission and it's incredibly early in the campaign. I mean, we're still factually an early game and uh, we are seeing a raid against us. So interesting, very interesting. Anyways, if you feel like Bradford uh, could click a few buttons to evade those, uh, uh, those engagements from time to time, try clicking that like button and see if you can uh, hit it. I tell you, it's quite evasive. Otherwise, leave a comment down below and see you in two days. Bye-bye.